Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I had a very busy week and I have a bit of a new setup. I hope you like it and I'm very excited to share this video with you where I will actually give you the steps to go from zero, have no idea how to program, to building your first few apps. So if you're interested in this, please stay tuned. I get a lot of messages. Where do I start? What website do I go and find coding resources on? Which course should I take? Which book should I read? And in this video, I will give you step by step of what you should do to go from not knowing how to code at all to knowing how to program a few first apps. And you know, it's really important to just have someone give you that information so that your brain isn't scattered around all the myriad of resources that are available on the web today about how to code. So that is my goal for today. We also have a new exciting sponsor. Monday.com is a team management tool for teams of all sizes, ranging from just two people to thousands of people. Monday.com can be used by tech and non-tech teams for better collaboration and better productivity. If you guys want to check out the tool, check out the link in the description down below and I hope it's useful for you. My first recommendation is this amazing course by Codecademy called Make a Website. And it's not even programming languages per se, it's learning markup, HTML, and CSS. And by the way, guys, all the information, all the steps that I'm giving you in this video are completely free of charge. So Make a Website by Codecademy is a great course that lets you explore HTML and CSS fundamentals and where you actually tell a computer, okay, please display this header, display this text, display this table, make it this color, and you are seeing all of that on the screen immediately. The reason why I want you to get started with HTML and CSS, if you have never ever tried coding, is because I think it's extremely important for you to see the results of your labor right away. In this course, and with something like HTML, CSS, really simple markup, you immediately see the fruits of your labor. You immediately see that text, that header color change, that table, whatever it is on the screen. This is actually what I got started with when I started coding. Also a very similar Code Academy class, I think it was about five or six years ago. This one is gonna be way more up to date. And that's what got me hooked because when you kind of playing a game during this course and you immediately see, you know, actually building a website, that brings you more into programming. And that makes you more excited because it's not very difficult, it's fun, it's kind of gamified. So I think that if you have never tried programming, this would be a step number one to try and complete this make a website course. Next up, once you completed make a website course, you should go ahead and enroll in learn to code code academy class that actually teaches you about programming fundamentals in Python. By the way, everyone, there is another exciting thing that you can get out of this video. I put together a whole PDF of all these resources with links, with actual alternative courses and additional materials that you can download if you follow this link, Life of Luba slash code. The link is going to be in the description down below. This PDF is completely free and I hope it's going to be a great resource for you to learn how to code and to also find alternative information, alternative projects, etc. So please go download this PDF, follow the link left in the description and you will get all this information with links and with alternative courses that I think are great for learning how to code. And this information is again, completely free. Learn to Code is again, a Code Academy completely free of charge course that teaches you key programming concepts and allows you to write your first lines of code 
in Python. Yes, yeah, see there is basics of programming, um, learning data types, variables, functions, control flows, lists, amazing course. Once you completed this learn to code class on Codecademy, or potentially in parallel, if you feel comfortable with programming fundamentals, you know, everyone has a different base and different pace of learning, you should start with implementing and building your first coding project. Oh my God, guys, this is so exciting. Now with this newly acquired knowledge on Python and programming fundamentals, you are going to build your first ever application that is actually going to do something useful. I am so, so, so pumped for you. I'm so excited and I hope you're enjoying this process. Meanwhile, the project that you're going to be building is something actually useful. You're going to be building a Twitter bot with your newly acquired Python knowledge. That is so exciting. The Twitter bot will take the text in a file that you created and actually post it to your Twitter account. Amazing. This Twitter project is really simple and I'm very confident that you're going to be able to follow along and utilize your Python knowledge. You're going to be using the Tweepy library that is used for easy access to Twitter API. This tutorial is very easy to follow and I'm really confident that you will be able to do it. You're going to follow along the tutorial, utilize your knowledge of for loops, of input output, because you will actually have to read from a file and ta-da, the Twitter bot once ready will be able to post anything you write in a separate file automatically on the Twitter account. And don't you worry if you don't have a Twitter account, just go ahead and create one for these specific purposes of building this project. And by the way, there is also a more complex Twitter bot tutorial and project that you can potentially build to even enhance your knowledge of Python and build more stuff on top of this bot that I'm going to list in this free PDF that you can download following the link below. So if you're interested in more information and want to have more projects to do, just go ahead and download that free PDF that I put together for you. I hope it's again useful. To learn the fundamentals, you're going to complete this amazing, incredible Algorithms 1 course on Coursera from Princeton University, completely free of charge. And fun fact, this was actually the exact course I took to learn algorithms and data structures of computer science. And that was actually the course that I also used to prepare for coding interviews because they actually give you real coding problems that you might be asked. Algorithms part one, completely free, Princeton University, course covers essential information that every serious programmer needs to know about algorithms and data structure. Syllabus includes stuff about sorting, stuff about analysis, stacks and queues, elementary sorts, priority queues, symbol tables. Yeah, a ton of stuff. And by the way, if you guys actually want to get a job as a developer, a job in programming, then you need to obviously prepare for coding interviews. And for that, I urge you to get this amazing book called Elements of Programming Interviews in Python and I'm gonna leave the link below for you to check it out and potentially purchase it because this is nowadays the mecca of the coding interview books. There is also cracking the coding interviews but Elements of Programming in Python is even more in depth and has more problems and for some companies actually, including Google, you can literally go into the interview and be like, oh, this question was page 55 in Elements of Programming in Python book. So that's how good that book is. Diverse, diverse amount of questions and you can just learn a lot from the book even if you're not preparing for coding interviews. Highly recommend it. Wow, you guys, you just went through so much amazing information on how to learn how to code and you're ready for your final application that I want you to build. Because again, everything is great in theory, but it's only in practice that you're actually learning. So I highly, highly, highly urge you to build something 
to learn how to program, to learn how to code. So what I want you to build is a simple to-do application in Python using the Django framework. And I found this amazing tutorial for you that explains step-by-step step how to get this application working and how it's gonna look like in the end. However, I would highly recommend you to try to think about it and build it, maybe even just scope it out of how you do it on your own before following the tutorial. And then once you feel confident or you wanna double check your thinking, actually go ahead and follow the tutorial. But if you can, just try to do it yourself because if you think about it yourself, that knowledge again gets ingrained in your head much more than just following the simple steps that someone already wrote up for you. And building a to-do application is an amazing, amazing goal. This is gonna be something that you can use in your day-to-day -day life to, you know, be productive, complete those personal or professional tasks. And you can tell your friends that you built this amazing to-do app with the newly acquired Python programming knowledge. I am, again, extremely excited for all of you. Look guys, I get asked so many times in comments and in Instagram DMs, email, how do I actually start? What are the steps that I should take? What are the websites that I use to learn how to code? I'm so excited to give you this exact step-by-step -step scenario of what you need to do to get started, to learn how to code. And in the PDF that you can download for free below, you have all the links and even more information. And I'm just so, so incredibly happy for you that you are taking these steps to embark on this amazing, incredible journey to learn how to code. Look, coding gives you so many opportunities. I want you to go ahead and dream big, build the next billion dollar company, go get that job at a company that inspires you, go build something silly, something that you can laugh with, with your friends and with your family. I want you to just, you know, take that skills and utilize it. When I think back five or six years ago, when I just started to code, I had all these dreams and ambitions about going to Silicon Valley and living in San Francisco. And here I am now. Coding just gave me so many amazing opportunities, like living where I love to live, having the friends that I have, being able to even share this content for you guys on YouTube, earning the amount of money that makes me comfortable and happy. Look, coding will open up so much, so many opportunities for you. And you might absolutely love it and I hope you do, or you might absolutely hate it and that's totally fine also, but you will just have a newly, newly made appreciation for software and coding and the modern world really. Coding, programming, the industry has changed so many things about how we live, how we interact day to day. You can just have the knowledge of how all of this works. And I'm incredibly excited for you to just take these steps and take your first steps for this incredible journey that will open up again so many opportunities and doors for you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I hope this was a start to something big and incredible in your life. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate your help and support. And don't forget to also download the PDF it's completely free. Share it with your friends. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please share in the comments about your journey, how excited you are, what struggles you are having with coding. I'm really excited to read them all. I always read the comments, even if I don't necessarily respond, but I really want to see how you guys are doing. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye for now.